Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a really exciting day because today, the 8th of November, is my one year anniversary on YouTube. And I thought to myself, like, if I don't celebrate and hype myself up, then no one else will. And so I decided I'd bake myself a cake and like make it like a little ritual, blow out a candle and just be like really like, you know, like, like it feels kind of lame to <laughs> like <laughs> make a video of it, but I'm also like really proud of myself. So I thought that I could use this kind of anniversary video as a way to talk about my initial motivation for starting a YouTube channel and then some of my aspirations and goals for YouTube going forward. Yeah, let's get straight into the video. So, why did I start my YouTube channel? I think to actually like go into this question, I need to bring you guys back to 13, 14 year old me, what that version of me looked like. I was an incredibly loud, 13 year old like with my friends i mean that's school i was pretty i was pretty chill like i was very like you know i was a good i was a good student i did my work sometimes i'd get in trouble with the teachers but like it was nothing major but with my friends i was like always really really loud and just like really cheeky and i would love interacting with strangers like going up to people on the street and doing like the selfie challenge and just like having my friends behind me which i have like vivid memories of this i would just get out my camera after school and start filming me and my friends walking home and they'd just be like what the hell are you doing like what are you doing i'm walking on the street what? but i can't feel my feet what? it's like i'm tripping on my weed hey. but i can't see the seat Ooh. i think that it's probably linked to the fact that I loved watching YouTubers at the time and I was really obsessed with the whole like British YouTuber gang. I loved to watch them, but I also knew that if I were to start a YouTube channel, my content wouldn't be like that because I just didn't feel like it was me. Like, at the time, I, I can think of myself as quite narrow-minded because obviously now there's so much more to YouTube. There's such a diverse range of content out there. And I think the beauty of YouTube is that you can create exactly what you want and you're able to use your own passions, your own interests, and then make that shareable, make that into content for others to watch and to enjoy. That leads me really nicely to my point about what really pushed me to start my I channel. I think that in a way, I was somewhat blessed by the fact that I was in France when I started my channel. It would have been a lot more like stigmatized for me to start my YouTube channel in an environment where I was I was so in an environment I was so used to um, and I think that these are real fears for a lot of people watching who are maybe thinking about starting a channel you kind of can't help but think oh my god like what will my friends think of me what will these people think of me you really are putting your whole self on YouTube and that's a really big and scary thing so I went through the motions so much I'm not doing a YouTube channel I am doing a YouTube channel like what it was just like ah. I really had to focus on my motivation for starting a channel. I really had to remind myself, this is something that you actually want to do. This is something that you have been doing for such a long time. If there are any of you watching at home that kind of resonate with these feelings of fear and anxiety um, about starting a channel, I would just urge you to look past that fear because it is just a mental construct. There is really nothing behind it. You're only responsible for yourself. You can't help if other people dislike you or you know, don't agree with your opinions or don't like your content. That doesn't matter. If they don't like your content, they can go elsewhere and find videos that they do like. What should matter to you is making content that aligns with your interests and posting it online in a really like fun and creative way. Of course, these are real fears. I always say, if you're scared, just do it with fear. Fear isn't a bad thing. Actually, when I uploaded my first video, last year i felt this like huge adrenaline rush when i posted it because i was so scared beforehand and then just doing it i kind of converted all that fear and it felt amazing it was i was high for like three days after that video went up yeah it just it was such a very it was such an exciting time of my life and i think that the beauty about youtube is that it's constantly exciting you're constantly like producing you're constantly interacting reacting gauging new inspiration getting new ideas and you can change your content you can modify it where possible everyone has a space to be on youtube because you are bringing something unique you're bringing something specific to you so to move on to the next part of the video my goals and aspirations for youtube i just want to be producing content that is really in line with my personal interests with my personality youtube is like my little piece of of the internet where I feel like I'm expressing myself, I'm able to engage creatively with 
with my interests, with my passions, and also engage with other people in a collaborative way. In a nutshell, my goals would just be to continue in the same way as I started, be confident in what I'm sharing, have no fear, or if I do have fear, do it anyway with fear regardless. I feel like it would be really cool to collaborate with other YouTubers more often. I'm not sure how practical that goal is given like my situation as a student and my position in the world, but at some point, if my channel does ever find that opportunity, that would be really, really cool. I think you get to improve your editing style, your content style when you're collaborating with another YouTuber because then you have the chance to actually see how you know, see the filming process and then you see the editing process and then you actually see the final thing. What's imperative for me as I improve on this journey is just continuing to watch, to expand the kind of videos I'm watching on YouTube, to get inspired by other creators because we've got such a diverse pool of talent in this world and the way that we are able to learn and to like grow together is by feeling inspired by one another and that is a strength in today's world that is not something that, that, that we should be looking down upon. To wrap up the video, those are my goals. You should start a YouTube channel if you're thinking about it because you're already halfway there. If you have the ideas, just start making the videos, post it. It's all in your mind, it's that fear, that mental construct we are meant to be i think that we are here to work on those mental constructs that we have in order to become you know less limited beings and become more free become more at ease with ourselves and our own individuality and take ownership of that so on that note i wish everyone the most amazing day possible get inspired do the things that you love doing be creative be happy and most importantly here is a slice of cake that I made you because I think you deserve it. So virtually eat this piece of lemon drizzle cake and use it to be inspired. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video and I will see you very, very soon for a new video. Bye.